The family of Regis Kuczynski Paquet will be speaking with Ontario's Special Investigations Unit this week following the death of their daughter Regis. The Toronto woman fell from her balcony while police were in her apartment. This case sparked thousands of protesters to take to city streets over the weekend in a peaceful anti-racism rally. Joining us this morning is Toronto Mayor John Tory. Good to have you on the program. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, you've said anti-black racism exists in Toronto and that the anger over Kuczynski Paquette's death is understandable. As mayor, what do you think needs to change so that the next time a black citizen calls police for help, they do so without fear? Well, it isn't just about policing. I mean, policing is an important part of it, and we've been engaged in extensive additional training for our police service on handling uh, diverse populations. We're the most diverse city in the world, so we have that responsibility. But I think it's about uh, attitudes on the part of us all. You know, a lot of the stories you'll hear that are very much tied into the continued existence of anti-black racism, not just in Toronto, but in Canada, are to do with uh, experiences uh, black people will have when driving a car or experiences they'll have when being in a store or some of the challenges and obstacles that are put in their way uh, when they're just trying to uh, get ahead at work. And so uh, we've, we've adopted a multi-pronged approach here. We, in, in restoring trust between the black community and the police is fundamental. And so one of the things we're doing that's a main part of that thrust is uh, community policing. So that we have officers now, instead of just arriving when something bad happens in a car with lights flashing, that are in the community for three or four years, the same police officers in the community, and they're doing something, you know, back to the future. They're kind of walking a beat to get to know people and establish trust with them and, and a two-way relationship. So there's a lot of things we're having to do, but it starts with us recognizing the fact that while we're doing better in this country in terms of respecting uh, human rights and, and people from diverse backgrounds, uh, we have a long way to go. Um, and so, you know, we started Pride Week yesterday. And again, we've come a long way uh, with our LGBTQ communities, but we've still got a long way to go in terms of acts of violence and discrimination that are committed against people in those communities. So I just think it's really a commitment. And that's why the demonstration was important, because it demonstrated kind of a heartfelt concern about that. One of the things that stood out to me at that demonstration on the weekend were the signs being held up that read, defund the police, calling out the Toronto police budget that has more than a billion dollars in their operating budget. What's your response to that? This, this is a cry that is getting louder. Well, my cry to that is that I think the notion of defunding the police, most people would understand, is not realistic. I mean, you'd love to think we could do without a police service in any big city, but it's not uh, human nature that we can. Uh, and I will just say that the increases that we've seen in the police budget, which have been very small, relatively speaking, over the last number of years, have all gone into things like community policing or like what we're about to embark upon now, which is body-worn cameras for police, which are all about accountability and about making sure that we can be as transparent as possible in carrying out the policing function. So those who call on, on a sort of complete defunding of the police, I don't think are, you know, I, I don't think they're being realistic about the challenge of keeping safe uh, a big city in Canada or anywhere else for that matter, but I can only speak for Toronto. And I think that the uh, level of constraint that we've shown on the police budget in the last number of years is uh, entirely appropriate at the same time as we've had a challenge with things like guns and gangs and those kinds of things that we have to deal with. Yeah, Mayor Tory, it's good to acknowledge that racism is experienced, uh, you know, from all uh, areas for people of color and the black community here in the city of Toronto. But in a 2018 report from the Ontario Human Rights Commission, you know these numbers, it found uh, a black person in Toronto is nearly 20 times more likely than a white person to be shot and killed by Toronto police. 30% of cases where police use force ended in serious injury or death, that was with black people. And 70% of people who were shot and killed by police we're black. Police Chief Saunders has previously said profiling and racism exists within TPS, Toronto Police Service. So what concrete steps people from the community want to know are being taken to bring these numbers down? There's been talk of body cameras for a long time. We know that there's more community policing on the streets. But what specifically is being done so that people in the community feel like uh, Toronto Police is there to serve and protect them too? Well, I mentioned uh, specific things, but I'll mention them again, because the body-worn cameras, for example, has been years in the discussion. And finally, uh, under this police board, and including my membership on it, we're actually buying them. That's, that process is going to be uh, approved so that they'll be on officers' uh, uniforms uh, this fall. And so it's never happened before. Uh, we have established an anti-black racism unit uh, in the city of Toronto, which includes dealing with issues of policing, the first of its kind in North America, that actually has a group of people who are dedicated entirely uh, to dealing with anti-black racism, including elements of policing. The training that is being done today in dealing with 
uh, anti-black racism and, and diversity related matters is unprecedented in terms of how much there is. So this is something that I take seriously. The police service takes it seriously. This is a big, a complex city, the most diverse in the world, and that carries with it special responsibilities. And I believe that while we have a long way to go and much work to be done, mm -hmm. uh, there are many, many things we have actually done. And I think in, in most quarters of the community, uh, that is actually recognized, that we are taking the steps. We haven't by any means come to the end of our work. It's just the beginning, but we're taking steps to actually deal with the things you mentioned. Mayor Victoria, I want to thank you for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.